Hey, this is Mirgloff, and I have a quick uh, thing to show. It's not quite a tutorial, but it's a cool use of the redstone lamps. I'll just show what I'm talking about here. It involves uh, pressure plates. You could use wooden or stone. I think stone looks better. And you can sort of make a illuminated walkway with these pressure plates on top of the uh, on top of the uh, redstone lamps here and uh, I didn't come up with this idea actually uh, our admin on the uh, Tez fan server came up with this idea as we were trying to build a a Dweamer city but uh, also works with rails, and I came up with this idea using detector rails while on a minecart. Oh, okay, that's not how that should work. Okay, so you can have these. Uh, you can place detector rails on top of uh, glowstone lamps, so you can, as you're on the minecart riding it, you can trigger the lamps to illuminate. Which is pretty cool if you have uh, a tunnel minecart system and you want to uh, have the dramatic effect of a automated light system that doesn't really require very much uh, redstone wiring. In fact, it requires no wiring whatsoever. So it's actually the e easiest light system possible if you don't mind uh, the expense of. Uh, collecting glowstone and and also just uh, the crafting they're really easy to craft most people probably already know this but I might as well show real quick how to craft so it's not hard to make redstone lamps and it's just somewhat uh, if you need like a longer system for this illumination, I would actually recommend spacing it out. Not quite as dramatic, but uh, it still works just as well. And I'm currently working on a way to incorporate this into my uh, semi-automatic uh, wheat farm. I need to find a way to inverse the, uh, the light which I've kind of come up with a way, but it doesn't work really all that well. <clears throat> Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and see you later.